Okay, hi there. So today I'm going to be talking about Smelt, and what Smelt is, is a uh, component library that combines Svelte with Tailwind CSS. So I've made a few videos on Tailwind CSS, but it is kind of like, you know, bootstrap or materialize CSS, except that it doesn't really give you components out of the box. It just gives you these, uh, what do they call it, utility first CSS framework. So it just gives you kind of these small classes that you can use, but Smelt takes it and creates Svelte components that are reusable and really easy to use. You just need to import button from Smelt, for example. Although actually, I think this isn't updated. Some of them say that. Some of them say something like, oh, that one also says it. Uh, they say, yeah, something like this. Maybe either work. I'm not sure, but this seems to work. So anyway, in any case, you just import it, and then you come down here and you use it like that. And you know, you got to pass the props that it needs, etc. But it's going to give you a nice looking layout. Um, you know, this you don't have to make these snack bars. They just come for free, really easy to use. Dialogs like modals pop up like that. Uh, tab, lots of different things. You can look on your own. I'm not going to go through all of it. Uh, so here up in the GitHub, you can come and it'll give you some documentation on how to get started. Demo, actually I haven't looked at this. Uh, I will say that, oh, it's just the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so also give it a star if you like. Please do. Um, I will say it's very, you know, it's early on in its uh, infancy or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it's not like super stable. Um, I mean, or maybe it's stable, but it seems to be very CPU intensive. Um, like getting the server to start and update can take quite a while. Uh, installing takes a long time. You know, there's just... Um, yeah, just be careful when you're using it. It is fun to use. It's cool to use, but um, yeah, don't go putting it in some production website at work. But, you know, on your own or for fun with your own hobby projects, it's pretty cool. So here is how to install it. You just follow these directions. I already did that. I made the video before, and I in the video I did these things, but it was take, taking so long to install that I just, you know, I didn't want to put you through all that. And even just running the dev server, that was taking a long time, so I also just... It's just running now, and yeah, so you don't have to watch me restart that. Here also, um, if you just want a Svelte project, you can do that. A few days ago, they weren't working for me, but today they magically are. So if you have any issues, uh, you can leave a comment or something. Um, and, you know, maybe if you restart your computer or something, it'll work. Not sure. Okay, so uh, let me get started. I started the server. Come here to localhost 3000. I believe, I hope. Yeah, so I've made this video a few times and then it, you know, something weird happens and I can't figure out why, so I restart the video. So if that happens, it happens. You might need to skip past it. Um, like here, for example, I thought I got rid of this, but it's still yellow. So when you first start it, this will probably be brown like this. Uh, the, pro uh, the reason it's probably not is because... Um, here an in index. Okay, yeah, I changed the col color to alert. Usually it'll be nothing. That'll be a different color. It's default. And so to see, like, you know, here, if you go to buttons, it'll show you how to put up a button like this. Be a dark color. It'll give you some hints, like here, you know, if you want a different color, secondary, alert, whatever. Um, another thing you can do is just come to the outer node modules, not the source node modules. Go all the way down to smelt R smelt yes there go to source go to components and then whatever component you're using you can look at like button for example come to button.svelte and this will show you all the different props that you can pass it uh, common default basic all these things so you can kind of get a feel for what's going on in this component and you'll see here export let color equals primary so it has a default of primary um, and the primary, you might be wondering, oh, okay, primary, so why is it um, this brown color here? Why is that primary? And to change your primary color, you would come down to tailwind.config.js, and here it tells you all the colors, okay? So before, the button was yellow because it was alert, and this is a yellow color. You see here, yellow. Uh, you can also pass it a color like indigo or something. So if I did color equals indigo, I'd make it indigo. 
Um, I can also just change the primary color. So if I want that to influence like this, and this is also primary color, even though it's a lighter version of the primary color. But I could come here and let's say I want primary color to be like uh, some kind of uh, cyan, cyan. Um, then I paste that, save there. And this is going to take a long time to reload, but it does notice your config has changed and it's rebuilding. So this is something that usually wouldn't be changing, so it shouldn't be a big deal that it takes a while, but you know this is going to take a while to update, and it might not even finish by the time I end this video, but hopefully it will, and we'll see that. So uh, let me show you how to add another component. So here I'm in index. I've got a slider button. Let's say I want to add a, a dialog. So these are kind of cool. So I'm going to need to import dialog from components slash dialog like that. And then for now, I'm just going to copy and paste this whole thing. So before I was just copying and pasting this dialog, but you also need this button that will show the dialog. And also be aware of this, let show dialog equal false. Okay, so there are multiple parts to one component. And this one is a bit more complicated than other components like a button. But um, yeah, you'll need to watch out for these things. So dialog equals false, save. And this should add a dialog to uh, the bottom of the page. And hopefully it doesn't crash the server. Oh, yep, it did. <laughs> okay, so server crashed. It seems like it's rebooting up. And I think that might happen when you change the config and then try to change something about your project here, like by adding a component. So usually you'll want to wait for the config to finish like figuring itself out. But here we go. It seems like it recovered. And now I've got the cyan as my primary color. And you'll see here anything that I haven't given a button to, like this button is just going to be primary color. So just to make it different, let's put color equals secondary like that. And I'll save. Um, and yeah, I mean, maybe, is what is the secondary? Secondary is this, pretty similar. Um, maybe I'll make it error right here. But maybe it's also just hasn't updated yet. OK, there we go. Although error should be different, I think. Who knows? OK, anyway, so I'm going to click Show Dialog, and then this pops up. And obviously, you can just come in here and change what functions run, and you can change uh, what the text says, all of that. Oh, okay, now it's error, so it took a while to update. Anyway, so you can just play around with this, add in whatever you like, um, and then use your Tailwind to kind of make it um, look more like, yeah, more unique, or so you're not just using the same colors as everyone else. And, you know, hopefully you can add some other uniqueness to it um, by looking around here and changing other things, breakpoints, I don't know if that'll make it look unique or not. But uh, anyway, that's the basics of it. Uh, remember, it's still, you know, it's still in development. This is just kind of a fun thing for now. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's awesome that this guy has made this, and hopefully other people can contribute to it, and it'll continue to grow. Um, but for now, I will leave it at that. And if you try it out, let me know how it goes. And bye.